Johnny! Hurry up! Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Well, hurry up then. Johnny! Oh, your breakfast is on the table, darling. Where else would it be? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Good morning, Dad. Hi. Don't forget you're going to give me five dollars today. Five dollars? Why should I? Oh, you remember, dear. The class is raising money for the summer camp. Well, the way prices are these days, kids are going to start raising money for us. Dad, you promise. All right. Don't spend all that on the women. Got to buy him a new pair of shoes this afternoon, too. Shoes? What does he do with his shoes? Eat them? Mm, he's outgrown. It's good ones. When I was his age, he went barefoot. Sunday school? Everywhere. That's Jimmy. I gotta get going. Is there anything you want me to do today, Dad? Yeah. Until my rich uncle dies, quit growing. Goodbye, Mom. Bye, dear. You better hurry. It's getting late. So what? What? I said, so what if I am late? Oh, nothing. I just thought you'd like to know. So let's don't go to work today. Let's go fishing. Oh, fine. Let's pick Tommy up and get in the car and just keep going. They got a road goes all the way to South America now. Some other time, thanks. You think the world would stop if we did? You think the Olympic Mutual Insurance Company would go out of business if I didn't walk through that door exactly nine o'clock every morning? Mm, never can tell. You were voted the prettiest girl in the class. I was voted the boy most likely to succeed. Something should happen to people like that. Well, something did. We got married. Whatever happened to those two people who were going to build a boat and sail around the world? Well, I had a baby. I never did hear what happened to you. Oh, come on, Wanda Lust. You've got a family to support. No South America? Not today. What time are you coming home tonight, dear? Now, why do you ask me a question like that? You know the second what time I'll get home. I'll leave the office at exactly four minutes after five. It takes six minutes to walk to the corner where Charlie picks me up at exactly 5.15. It takes 32 minutes to drive home unless we hit a couple of stop signals. And I'm kissing you on the cheek at exactly 5.50. Old man routine getting you down again? No, oh, I don't know. Sometimes I get to feel like a wheel within a wheel within a wheel. Oh, you and 50 million others. I don't want to be like 50 million others. Oh, but you're John Forbes, average American. Backbone of the country. I don't want to be an average American, backbone of the country. I want somebody else to be the backbone and hold me up. You've been reading Thomas Geography book again. Glamorous Borneo, rubber plantations, and dusky dames. Well, it sounds a lot better than Glamorous Olympic Mutual Insurance Company, Inc. Speaking of which, we're here. Oh. Well, see you at exactly 5.50. Wait a minute. I'm getting a little bored of that kiss on the cheek, too. Mm. Thanks. You're welcome. And let's have a better mood when you come home tonight. I'll give it all I got trying. Bye, dear. <laughs> 